Here comes Maz's pick. Is he gonna take the C's? Will he take the Maz? Well, you know he's gonna be a dick. And he'll take Dallas in four and maybe even five. So let's hear Maz's pick. Yeah, huh? Maz's pick. Here comes Maz's pick. All right, here it is. You've been waiting for it. I do want to hear Maz's prediction. That is one prediction I want to hear. Anthony? You want it now? Yes. Oh. <laughs> we just ran the song. Well, I know, I know, but sometimes you like to do a little build-up. Sometimes you, you know, you, you like to hype it. That was... I'm just I'm just going. That's by That's what the end of the last segment was. I'm just going by 15 years of experience together. Go ahead. So th you, I can't tell you how many people are me, Yeah, Matt, who are you picking? <laughs> yeah, Matt, who do you like? Did you know, in fact, there are even national voices out there speculating on who I might pick? Jimmy Stewart, go ahead. I wouldn't be shocked if it's Dallas. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I like the Mavericks. I like Dallas. And when I say that, I know, it, yeah, yeah, of course you do, Mavs. I don't always pick against the home team. I said this in the last round against Minnesota. When I saw game three and the way Kyrie and Doncic were working together in that series against Minnesota, particularly at the end of games, I, I started to take Dallas for real. They terrify me at the ends of these games. I think that these games are going to be close. I don't think they're going to be runaways. I have concerns about Porzingis' ability to power through the series. And I do think he's kind of an important guy, particularly on the defensive end of it. And frankly, I don't trust the Celtics. I said this to you a couple of days ago, and I certainly don't trust them in a Game 7 in Boston. I almost feel like a Game 7 here, given the way it has gone for the Celtics over the last several years, if they play Game 7 in this building and it doesn't get off to a, a great start, I almost feel like it would be the reverse effect like a Bruins game. Yeah. So I, I think, you know, they're better. They would be better off winning it early, clearly, as it would be for any team. If it gets to Game 7 in this building, I like Luka and I like Irving. So you like Dallas in this series? I do. Is that more about Dallas or more about the Celtics? It's a little bit of both. I mean, you, you describe both, but if you had to weigh it, yeah, you know. I would say more about the Celtics. I said that early. I just don't trust them. I don't. I don't know. I still feel a little bit with them like, I don't know what we're going to get. I mean, it's basically the question you asked at the beginning of the show today with Jason Tatum. What are we going to get? I don't know. I don't know. He'll be good. I, I don't doubt that. I mean, I don't think Tatum's going to suck the way he did against Golden State. That was a, They weren't ready for that moment. I think they are going to be more prepared for this moment. But I don't know if we're going to get the Celtics' absolute best. And the one guy in this, in this series that I feel most confident about playing at a very high level is Doncic. So I feel pretty good about Jalen Brown. I think he'll compete. But I do think that there are still some flaws in his game that could rear its head or rear their heads in this series. Uh, I, you know, to me in the crunch moments, and again, I think it's gonna. I think this has a chance to be like an all-time series. I really do. I think it, the games could be really competitive. And in those moments, I like Doncic. So, what do you think, folks? If not necessarily a prediction, just thoughts on the series as we get now finally into it. And uh, Tatum's readiness. Are you are you confident in Tatum? No, no, not particularly. Or are you? Are you nervous about Tatum? I mean, that's a question for the audience, you know, as well. Are you co are you like, he's got it, this is his time, or are you more sort of like, I don't know what I'm going to get? So I'm more the second thing. Is it possible to be in the middle? In other words, he'll be pretty good. I don't know if he'll be great. Yeah, I mean, I think the numbers will be there. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, the numbers will be there. Like, I don't think he's going to score... You know, 19 points a game with seven rebounds, two assists, well, and six turnovers. I think in two of those finals games against the Warriors, he shot under 20%, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> or under 25%, something like that. There were two games where the the field goal percentage was hideous. So, like, I'm not expecting that. I don't think it'll be that bad. You know, because I, I think the Warriors are tougher and, uh, it, you know, whether it's Draymond Green or Andrew Wiggins, like sort of tougher, sturdier. They, they got to him physically, mentally, the whole thing. I don't think Dallas can really do that. I mean, I, I'm still picking the Celtics, if you care, and, and, and the reason would be, I, you know, the, the teams that give the Celtics trouble are teams that can be more physical, turn it into a rock fight. It comes down to those sort of things. And that's just not Dallas's DNA. I, I know since the trade deadline and how they played the second half, they're, they're doing more of that. But that's still not who they are in their core. And so 
I don't think they can really, you know, Miami. They, they, a team that can, and Golden State had more of that than I think people gave them credit for. Uh, between Draymond Green and, again, the way they could play defense or their smarts or their experience or their institutional knowledge or DNA, like, they have some of that. I, I don't think the Warrior, the Mavericks have any of it. I think they've added some of it. So, some of it. So, anyway, I mean, that's, that's still why I, I would pick the Celtics in this, but what the hell do I know? Uh, but either way, your, your thoughts on Tatum going into the thing. Okay? So, I don't think it's going to be as bad as it was against the Warriors. I don't. But it's going to be good enough if the thing's close and Tatum has to dig deep and he's the one that's got to pull it out and he's the one that's got to get to Doncic and he's the one that's got to bet, you know, I, am I fully confident in that? I'm not. Are you out there? Can I just quickly give you Tatum's numbers against Dallas this year? Please. Okay. Oh, yeah, in the, killed him. In the two games, uh, 35 and a half points, nine and a half rebounds and four assists. Okay. And his shooting percentages were all excellent. Excellent. Over 41% from three-point land. If it's that again, they run away with it. Okay, I, I don't think it'll be that good. But, you know, if he plays at that level, it won't be a contest. Okay. If you like that clip, check out more videos from Felger and Maz here. For more Celtics analysis and opinion, hit this playlist. And for all the latest from the Sports Hub, download the app at 98.5thesportshub.com.